Greetings, art enthusiasts. This art short is produced by Metro Gallery Nebraska, positioned at the heart of Lincoln, home to over 5,000 works of art. Today, our journey takes us across the globe and back in time to the bustling city of Edo, now known as Tokyo. Here, in the 17th century, a young boy named Ando Hiroshige was born. From an early age, Hiroshige found himself captivated by the world of art, specifically the genre of ukiyo-e, a style of Japanese art that flourished from the 17th through 19th centuries. This genre, marked by its intricate woodblock prints and paintings, captured scenes from history, folklore, landscapes, and the pleasures of city life. Hiroshige was drawn to this style, dedicating his youth to mastering its techniques, laying the groundwork for what would become a remarkable career. Hiroshige, a young boy from Edo, would soon become a master in ukiyo-e, leaving an indelible mark on the art world. In the twilight of his life, Hiroshige continued to create, his passion for art undimmed by the passing years. As the sun began to set on his career, he embarked on a significant series, 100 Famous Views of Edo. This collection, started in his 60s, was a testament to his unwavering dedication and love for the city he called home. Characterized by vibrant colors and a distinct perspective, these images captured the essence of Edo's landscapes, its people, and the changing seasons. Each painting was like a love letter to the city, a delicate blend of reality and Hiroshige's artistic interpretation. These pieces are considered to be some of his greatest works, embodying not just his skill as an artist, but also his deep connection to his surroundings. Despite his advancing age, Hiroshige's work ethic did not wane. In fact, he seemed to find a renewed sense of purpose, pouring his heart and soul into each work of art. He continued to experiment, to evolve his style, and to challenge the norms of ukiyo-e, the genre he had dedicated his life to. What makes Hiroshige's final years particularly impactful is not just the volume or quality of his work, but the influence it had on the art world. His innovative use of color and perspective caught the attention of Western painters, becoming a major source of inspiration. Artists like Van Gogh, who owned over 500 ukiyo-e block prints, and Monet were captivated by his work, incorporating elements of his style into their own. Hiroshige's influence helped shape the Impressionist movement, bridging the gap between Eastern and Western art. Yet, Hiroshige's life was not solely defined by his art. He was a family man, a father and husband. His two children, a son and a daughter, were a source of joy and pride. His wife, Yae, was a constant presence in his life, supporting him in his artistic journey. Despite the demands of his career, Hiroshige always made time for his loved ones, balancing his passion for art with his responsibilities as a family man. In his final years, Hiroshige's health began to decline, but even as his body weakened, his spirit remained strong. He continued to paint, to create, to inspire. His final work, a depiction of a bird flying above the sea, was completed just days before his death. It was a fitting end to a life dedicated to art, a symbol of Hiroshige's enduring spirit and unyielding passion. Despite his failing health, Hiroshige demonstrated an undying commitment to his craft, creating some of his most impactful works during his final years. He passed away in the autumn of 1858, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate in the art world. His influence, his passion, and his dedication to his craft serve as an inspiration to artists around the world, a testament to the power of art to transcend boundaries and touch lives. Hiroshige's journey from a young boy in Edo to a master of ukiyo-e is truly inspiring. It's a testament to the transformative power of art and the enduring legacy of an artist's passion. Just as Hiroshige left his mark on the world, every artist has their own unique journey, their own story to tell. This is where Metro Gallery Nebraska comes in. We provide a platform for artists to share their stories and showcase their talents. Our artist groups meet every Wednesday from 5 to 7 in the evening and every Saturday from 2 to 4 in the afternoon. These sessions are open to all, offering demonstrations, critiques, and video presentations. And let's not forget our free art First Fridays. On the first Friday of every month, we host a new exhibition featuring the artist of the month. And yes, we give away free art. So, swing by 1316 N Street, Lincoln, or visit us online at metrogallerylincoln.com. Metro Gallery, Nebraska, where art is. Join us every Wednesday and Saturday for our artist groups, and don't miss our free art First Fridays. We're looking forward to seeing you.